We just got a brand new city revamp. And because of that, then I'm gonna have to make a five things which you missed in a brand new update. So if you do not got time to play in the new update or you just haven't checked it out, then this is the video for you. And I'm just telling you, this video gets absolutely crazy as we just got a brand new arcade with it. So with that being said, like and subscribe and watch all the way through. And let's just head right on to today's video, which is that let me remove everything that's summer theme from Google Attack. I mean, just take a look in the corner right here it just looks so empty and boring the same goes where the summer camp used to be like dang look at this this is you i cannot look at it it's just so empty here but also if you come down to caves and then you take a look right down here you can see that there's still a bunch of water here and that is kind of weird i mean did lemming forgot to remove all the water or what because he removed everything else except one more thing which is kind of funny and we all love that thing and that is mark if you don't know who mark is that that's basically the shark which we got down in caves. And the leaderboard basically says he is splashing around beach now thanks to your recommendations. So that means Lemming actually listened to us. I mean, we all love that shark named Mark and he actually did not remove him. If you come over to the beach map, you can see that there's no more summer decoration here. But if you come down to the water and then you just take a quick look around, you can easily see that Mark is right over there. So honestly, W Gorilla Tag for adding him back or, you know, not removing him. I mean, he did remove all of the fishes from the beach map, which was, I didn't really see a point of doing that. But anyways, we got Mark back. And by the way, if you didn't know, I'm always starting off with, you know, some of the most obvious things which you missed. And then I'm going to end up with some stuff which you did definitely miss. So anyways, with that being said, let's just head on to thing number two. And for thing number two, you're going to want to come over to the new city map. Just take a look at Mall. Just everything is city just got revamped without letting us know about it. That's like never happened before as you know we always get you know hints or leaks about you know big changes to the grill tag maps but this time we did not if you take a look we got a new dinosaur set here and if you come inside you can see a bunch of new cosmetic which he added with the new mall release which flavor rules do you choose hmm chocolate strawberry or just regular i don't know i'm probably gonna have to go with chocolate let me know which one you like more chocolate milk or strawberry milk how did i nearly forget that and no some of these cosmetics right here are not regular cosmetic you see they have a secret behind them. one of them being this disco cube which we got with it you know it looked kind of normal but then you can see that there's a trigger on it. if you press that trigger we got a disco party really Okay, but what am I actually doing with my life? Imagine my neighbors looking through my window seeing me just... He also added this weird whatever this is really from, you know, it's outside of the store with, I don't know what to call this, but it's probably going to be putting flashback sales or something inside of it. Oh, it's just a squeaky toy, really. <laughs> Thought it was something else. But also something cool with the, you know, the new milk chocolate, you know, cosmetic which you got. If you listen closely... You can hear that it sounds exactly like the, you know, the dolphin cosmetic which we got from the summer update. And same goes with the effect, instead of it being, you know, water coming out from the mouth of the dolphin, it's chocolate milk. So, I don't know, like, really why I did, but I kind of think he just put the dolphin cosmetic inside of the chocolate milk or something. But anyways, now we're getting onto some stuff which you definitely have made, so make sure they watch all the way through. So you got some stuff which really nobody else know about. And number three of the things which you missed on the list is actually the new mountain. Map. Now, I know a lot of people are saying, well, I definitely did not miss that, but I'm pretty sure most people did because we got a brand new mall over here and also the arcade over there, which I'm going to show you guys something which you missed inside of there. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people miss mountains as, you know, mountains is not that popular anymore, but... I'm sure it will after this update. To get into mountains from now, you have to go through the Iglo, really. And that is actually funny, but what about the other entrance? Well, that just got blocked off. Are we getting another secret tunnel like we got before we got the beach map, you know? I don't know, maybe, but this does not look good. What is hiding behind her? Nobody really knows except Lemming for now. But I would like to think that we're getting like a different type of mountains map behind there or, you know, a tunnel that leads to a different map. But yeah, mountains at the moment is kind of dry, you know, the snow that was starting to melt down there is now gone as all the snow has gotten back to it. The same as the summer decoration which just got, you know, pulled away from Google Tag as summer is. But this tunnel right here looks so weird, like what is this type of shape? 
But anyways, now we're on to thing number four, which is kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie, but anyways, if you come up to third floor of mall, if I can call it that, I mean, what is going on with mall? If you just take a look right here, you can see like all of the plates here are, you know, starting to vanish or to fall apart, if I can call it that. So I don't know what's really going on with Gruel Attack, but I do know for a fact that when the Halloween update comes out, this is gonna be so scary. Just take a look inside of the new mall, like, dang, what is going on? This looks so different. I'm not gonna lie, it already looks like we got a Halloween update in here. Just look how dark it is in the third floor of mall, like, dang, what is actually going on with Rultag? Were Gorilla Tag's bill really that high that they couldn't even pay for the electricity bill? But anyways, the fifth thing which you miss is actually inside, oh my gosh, I just got stuck. Anyways, what I was supposed to say, the fifth thing which you miss on the list is actually inside of the brand new arcade we forgot. By the way, this is so weird. I, mean, I know gambling and stuff is like 18 plus, so why does Gorilla Tag really make an ar arcade map? Well, obviously, because you cannot gamble any money on it. But look at these new games which we got in it. This is actually crazy. As you can see, you're like supposed to take down this stuff right here before the timer is out, and you have to get 10 out of uh, 10. And don't hit bug like I did a second ago. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, I got 17 out of 10. That is not bad. Let's see what what I get. Okay, I think this is stage number two because I'm gonna like continue for some reason. But anyways, so far this looks really good. You ain't fooling me, bug. Level complete, let's go. But guys, look at this. I just found out that, you know, this can actually help you out a lot. But if you hold on to this bar right here, it actually helps a lot because, you know, you're like holding stuck onto it. But this is getting super fast right now. Dang it, I did not complete this way, but I got like halfway. But if you can beat me, please let me know down in the comments and what happens if you complete this game. If I'm not wrong, you actually get in-game currency, which means you get basically free shiny rocks if you're able to complete this. But when you do it, make sure that you hold on to the bar with one hand because, you know, you can move all around with the other one. This is actually thing number five which you missed. You see, we got a bunch of these, you know, claw machines and stuff all around this casino. And they actually got working buttons. And the thing about those buttons is that if I'm not wrong, you can like you know press the right one in the right direction and when you do that you know you either get something like dropping down here or you know this door right here opens up or whatever i'm 99.9% .9 sure that something like that you know is revealing behind it so if you're like able to you know get the right code on this so that it opens up then please let me know or make a video because that would have been sick just look at this like different type of candy which you get from them and another thing about that if you take a close look you can see that some of these stuffs are actually from the minecraft itself like that thing right there i'm pretty sure that's the book from minecraft that's the bread that's you know a fish from minecraft and that's a potion so gorilla tag is actually taking notes from minecraft at this point i don't know i might be wrong there but i don't think so because that looks really accurate but anyways that was all i had for you guys for today's video i hope you enjoyed it click on the video right here on the screen right here if you want to watch another bang for me i love you guys so much and i'll catch you guys up in the video on screen right here